Hi everyone, in this practice problem, we're told that the productive activity of a country is represented in the table below. We're asked to find gross domestic product, so GDP, using the value added approach to measuring GDP. So I recently did a theory video on value added. So I'll link to that in the description below if you're interested or, or if you need it. In the question, the table here has different columns. We have the first column of items. Uh, the second column is the sellers of those items. Uh, the next is the buyers. And then we have the price that everything is being sold at. So this table is similar to one I saw in a book. I thought it would be an interesting exercise to find value added when the information is set out like this. Now I have some definitions over here that are worth having a look at. The first is our definition of value added. So value added is the difference between the total sales and the cost of any intermediate inputs. And when we find GDP using the value added approach, we're going to add up the value added at each stage of production. I also have the definition of gross domestic product. So GDP is equal to the market value of our final goods and services produced within a country during a given time frame. So the question is from this table of information, how can we see value added in order to find our GDP? So let's just look at the table a little deeper. We're basically seeing a production process from the start to the end. So we're starting with some fleece. The farmer has some fleece from a sheep perhaps, and the farmer sells the fleece to a wool maker for $2. The wool maker then makes some wool with the fleece and then they sell that wool to a weaver for $4. The weaver then makes some cloth from that wool and sells it to a dressmaker for $8. The dressmaker then makes a dress from the cloth and sells it to the consumer for 15 so a really good question here is what are we aiming for here? What is GDP? Can we see it anywhere? And it's actually this number here, it's 15. If we look at our definition of GDP, GDP is equal to the market value of our final goods and services produced within a country during a given time frame. So in this table here, the only final good or service here is, is the dress. All of the rest of the items here, the fleece, the wool, the cloth, they're being used in the production uh, of eventually the dress. They're called intermediate goods. They don't, at least in any direct sense, count towards GDP. So the market value of the final good is 15. That would be our GDP if this was the only production going on in the country. And when we find our value added, that's the number that we're aiming for. And we can start at the beginning when we find our value added. So think about from the farmer's perspective. Now, from the information that we're given, we can really assume given that they are at the beginning that they're they're not using any intermediate goods or services to make the fleece so the cost of any intermediate inputs is zero for the farmer total sales is two so the value added by the farmer is total sales two minus the cost of intermediate inputs zero uh, so equal to two all right let's go to the next stage the wool maker the wool maker makes some wool from the fleece. They sell that wool to the weaver for $4. So the value added is four, that's total sales, minus the cost of the intermediate inputs. Well, they paid $2 for the fleece. Four minus two is equal to two. So the wool maker has added in value with their production two. All right, well, how about the next stage of production? The weaver buys the wool and makes some cloth with the wool. They sell it to the dressmaker for eight. The cost of that wool was four. Eight minus four is equal to four. So they added $4 worth of value to the wool in order to make the cloth. How about the dressmaker? Well, the dressmaker buys the cloth for eight and then they make a dress with that cloth. Uh, and the consumer buys that for 15. So 15 minus eight, that's the cost of the intermediate input, the cloth. It's equal to seven. Okay, that's our value added at each stage of the production of the dress. Let's add them all up. 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 plus 7 is 15. So with the value added approach, then we're really reimagining or, or thinking about the value of our final goods and services in terms of being a sum of the value added at each stage of production. And that's really the value added uh, approach in a nutshell. 
Now I will say that this 29 here, that's a red herring. This is not GDP. GDP is just the value of the final goods and services, which is only the dress here. Uh, and the idea is that the value of the intermediate goods and services, so the value of the fleece, the value of the wool, of the cloth, it's already contained uh, within that $15 of the price of the final good. Uh, so that's how we compute GDP by looking at value added. I hope that the video helped. If it did, please like and subscribe. Thanks, thanks so much for watching.